Hi everyone, this is Sasha, AKA Your Frugal Friend, and today I am extremely excited to show you how to use Google AI Studio as a, your own personal assistant to have a conversation with to help you improve your mockups for your Etsy products or um, to give you ideas on how to use different Canvas settings, to teach you how to use different Canvas settings. It is a really amazing tool. So uh, we're gonna get started here in a second, but if you don't know me, my name is Sasha, and I am a top 1% seller on Etsy in the digital product space, and I love helping sellers and other people just like you learn and learn how to improve your Etsy shop, how to use cutting edge tools and technology on how to improve your own Etsy products. Okay, so let's jump right in. So I'm gonna be using the stream real time from over here on the left hand ribbon stream real time feature to actually talk and have a conversation with uh, Gemini. So in order to make sure that you have the settings correct for your own computer, I had to do this for my own to make sure I was using the right microphone. I had to go to the start button, then I had to go to settings, then I had to go to system, then I went to my sound, and then I made sure that I had the right input device selected, the right microphone. And then I know it's the right one because it's talking right there and I could see the little bar moving. So make sure you do that before you do this or you'll be like, why isn't it working? I don't understand, Sasha, what it, this tutorial is garbage. No, you just need to make sure you have the right settings on. But if it doesn't work for you, just know that you can type something into the box down here and it will chat that way with Gemini. So let's get started. So I did stream real time. <clears throat> I'm going to click on talk to Gemini. Hey, are you there? Yes, I am here. How can I help you today? All right. I am going to share my screen and then I'm going to have you help me make these mock-ups for my handprint craft product better to sell to Etsy buyers. Does that sound good? Yes, that sounds good. I see that you have a mock-up of a handprint ornament on your screen. Is there a specific aspect of the mock-up that you would like me to help you with? Yeah, so I want to explain to you what this product is and how to use it first. So this is a, a template that people will buy and print out, and then they will put paint on their child's hand, and then their child will put their handprint onto the template, and then after it dries, the person who helped the child will either have them sign it or they can frame it and give it to people as a keepsake as a cute uh, Christmas card kind of product from a child. Does that make sense? Yes, yes that, that makes sense. sense. It is a template for a handprint ornament that people can buy, print out, add their child's handprint, and then frame or sign as a keepsake. Do you want me to provide suggestions about improving the design of the template? Uh, not for now, but I might ask you that in a minute. For now, I want to know, how can I add a shadow underneath this hand here on my mock-up so that I can make the hand really stand out and make this mock-up come to life? Okay, I understand. You want to add a shadow to the handprint on your mock-up to make it stand out more. I can help you with that. In Canva, you can select the handprint image and then go to the Effects menu. From there, you should see an option for Shadows. You can then adjust the settings for the shadow to achieve the look you want. Does that sound right? So where do I find the effects setting? Okay, I see you have the handprint selected. At the top of the screen, you will see a horizontal toolbar with options like Edit, BG Remover, and Flip. Click on the Edit option, and that should bring up the effects menu. From there, you should be able to find the shadow option. Okay, perfect. Which shadow do you recommend I use uh, to make the hand look natural and stand out on the mock-up? Based on what I'm seeing, the drop shadow option might work best for a natural look while helping the handprint stand out. You can also adjust the blur, angle, distance, color, and intensity settings of the drop shadow to fine tune the effect. Would you like to try that option? Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, are there any other elements or graphics I should add to this mock-up to make it stand out? Yes, I have a couple of ideas. You could add a small image of a paintbrush or a paint palette somewhere on the mock-up to further emphasize that this is a craft product. Additionally, you might consider adding some decorative elements, such as snowflakes or Christmas-themed icons, to enhance the festive theme. Does that sound helpful? 
that's great. Okay, so on the actual template itself that I'm selling, which you can see right here, I have cutest little ornament on the tree. Do you have any other ideas of different words I could put on this template to make a variation of this product to sell? Yes, I have a few ideas for different words you can put on the template. Instead of cutest little ornament, you could try my first Christmas ornament, baby's first Christmas, or holiday handprint keepsake. You could also personalize it with a family name, such as the Smith family ornament. Would any of those work for you? Yeah, that sounds great. I love those ideas. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, wait, do you have any other ideas of how I could turn this into an Easter product? Yes, I have an idea on how to turn this into an Easter product. You could replace the ornament shape with an Easter egg shape and change the text to something Easter themed, such as my first Easter handprint, somebody loves me, or happy Easter from. Also, using a pastel color palette would help give it more of an Easter vibe. Would you like more suggestions? No, those are great ideas though. Thank you so much for your help. You've been super amazing today. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help you with your handprint ornament mock-ups. Please don't hesitate to ask if you need more help in the future. Will do. Great, All right. have a good one. Yeah, you too. <laughs> so as you can see, that was super useful, super helpful, super fun. I really enjoyed that experience. I feel like Google AI Studio is amazing. <laughs> I cannot believe it tells you exactly where to find different features and tools in Canva, which can be super helpful if you're new and you just have no idea where to go and you don't want to go through a whole bunch of Googling down a rabbit hole to find what you're looking for. So definitely give this a try. I think you will have a lot of fun with it. And write in the comments your experience with Google AI Studio.